to X Factor presented by Xfinity. I'm Tori Petrie. That's TJ Lang with <laughs> TJ. What are those giant candy canes? Yeah, they are, Tori. We should probably make it a quick show before my wife founds out I'm taking all of our decorations off the front yard, <laughs> front lawn. <laughs> you just straight up plucked those from the yard for this show. It sure did. Hey, last Christmas show, right? I got to find something that uh, resembles two straight lines. So candy canes are. Not my favorite uh, Christmas candy, but you know what? For the show's sake, we can make them work. They make for a good X. Also, I love the ugly Christmas sweater vibe we have going on. Uh, this mine's just a normal sweater. I don't know about yours. <laughs> this one is courtesy of my mom from the 1990s, so it is authentic, authentic over here. And we got to get to your X Factor for today. You got to tell us who you think is going to be the X Factor for the Lions on this. Christmas Saturday game. The Lions play on Saturday. Don't forget, guys, match up against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Who's going to be the X Factor for the Lions, TJ? Well, I know we're going quite a ways back here, but a uh, guy who's, you know, obviously made tremendous strides since he got to the Lions organization was just rewarded this week with his first Pro Bowl, TJ Hawkinson. This contested catch, two point conversion late in the Saints game to kind of get him back in the game. You just, but you look at the way that he gets there, right? I mean, it's not the cleanest break. The guy's 27's all over him, over the top. I mean, that's a top 10 play any day of the week. I know they've been targeting a lot, but he's really going to have to kind of show off this week, I think. You know, he's probably excited uh, that he's had a lot of personal success this year. Well, against Minnesota, Irv Smith was Minnesota's leading, re leading receiver coming from that tight end position, had about 80 yards and a touchdown. So there is precedent for Hawkinson to have some, have some success against his Tampa defense this week. All right. I like it. You mentioned that Pro Bowl selection. TJ, you've been to the Pro Bowl. Our producer, Neil, and I have actually been down to Orlando with you for that trip. Obviously, things will look different for guys to make the Pro Bowl this year. Won't be that in-person event, but just tell us how it feels to be selected to the Pro Bowl. Yeah, I mean, it's incredible. You work really... I mean, I had to wait eight years <laughs> before I got there. Uh, Big Hawk, you know, he's only had to wait two. So um, good for him, happy for him. But it, it is just, uh, it's a very validating feeling. Um, you know, when, when, you're, when the coaches vote you in, the fans, uh, players from other teams think that you're worthy of that honor. I know a lot of people say it's kind of watered down because it has sort of turned into a popularity contest uh, the last few years. But you know what? That's what it's all about. It's a, it's a tremendous accomplishment. And something that I think if any players tell you that it's it's not a goal of, their, of theirs or a dream of theirs, they're lying to you because everybody wants to get there at least once in their career. I had the pleasure of, uh, of being voted in twice. And for TJ Hawkinson, I know um, this is probably uh, the first of many to come couple of Pro Bowl TJs on this show. I like it. Now there's a guy on the The first opponent. TJ Lions though that made the Pro Bowl. So I'll, I'll always have that honor. He'll, he'll beat me eventually, but I was the first. <laughs> You're right. He can't take that away from you. But let's look at the opponent. Who is the X factor that the Lions have got to stop on the Tampa Bay Bucks? Well, Tori, we all know the uh, offensive weapons that Tampa Bay possesses, especially uh, five, seems like five or six all-pro wide receivers, but we're going to stick on the defensive side of the ball. The best probably one-two punch at middle linebacker that I've seen in the NFL probably since the 49ers had Patrick Willis and Navarro Bowman, Devin White, Levante David. These guys are absolutely playing uh, at an extremely high level. I'm shocked that neither of them made the Pro Bowl this year, but there's probably a couple of all-pros coming for them. Uh, in the near future. But the guy we're going with is Devin White. He is just an absolute animal uh, in the middle of the field. You want to see clinic tape and all pro tape. Just watch the game last week against the Falcons, especially in the second half. 12 tackles, three sacks, four and a half tackles for loss, two pass deflections, three more quarterback hits. This, I think this was his third sack of the game. Just runs a quick, quick little stunt, right? The running back four, he's supposed to pick him up. Devin reads it perfectly, loops back inside. The guard has no chance to come off on there. Their center sliding to nobody out on the right side. You don't want to leave your running back one on one with uh, with Devin White. He's just really, he's just that good. He can make you pay. So we really get to see T.J. Hawkinson um, go against the top linebacking crew in the league. See what he can do as far as situations, catching the ball, battling, making those contested catches. We'll, we'll get a good chance to see that matchup. I think that's one that I'll probably watching uh, be watching the most come Saturday night. I like that. I like that your X Factors match up on the field there, TJ. Thank you so much for chiming in with your X Factor presented by Xfinity. And Merry Christmas to your family, TJ. Thank you. You as well, Tori. All right, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in from Xfinity Studio. I'm Tori Petri. 